hanging out live at Love Supreme with Skinny Palembe. What's up? Great. We, we've started. We've started. Yeah. Okay. How are you? Official. <laughs> cool. We've How you doing? Officially begun. We've officially begun, but we've got one mic to share, so it's going to be an intimate affair. Um, but you've just come off the uh, the stage. How was the set? Yeah, it was great. It was um, it was ace. It was like a last. It's all a bit last minute, like just even playing this, and then you were like we couldn't have like the normal band that we do so we did like most of it kind of like acoustic me and Chloe and then my old mate Mitchell Fenn who I've been in bands with like since I was 14 like he came in and just did like the last half of it and it was great we had like one hours practice yesterday and he smashed it so sick I love that when it's a little bit more like loose and DIY and like just like bringing it together and when there's not a lot of time for rehearsals sometimes it can I don't know make it like a different sort of experience do you feel that it's a different experience, yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> In a beautiful way. Um, so we're Dreaming is Dead now. Uh, it's been a few months since I caught up with you, actually, and it wasn't out when I last saw you. What's it like, sort of like reflecting on the success of the record and the tour so far and everything? It's been really like talked about and celebrated. What's it feel like? Would, would you use the word success? I would use the word of success. I think there's a lot of people like talking about the record. Do you feel like it's a bit more sort of underground than, no, than some of your fans. I'm, I'm really happy with how it's, it's been because I always thought it would just be like a little, you know, sliding like through the back door kind of, mm -hmm. you know, nobody really knows and then it hopefully becomes a bit of a grower, which is, I think that's what it's doing. But we've had like some proper love from like Six Music and people and it's just like, yeah, cool, yeah, nice absolutely. one. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's wicked. And then there's like, like a, a really loyal sort of fan base that seems to be sort of following and, and getting excited about the release and excited to see what's sort of coming next. So are you writing at the moment or are you anywhere particularly creative when it comes to thinking about the next record? Are you sort of focusing on the live side right now? It'll be done by January. Ah, all right, that's exciting, sweet. Are you able to no, talk I have about... I hold myself to that, so <laughs> yeah. it'll be done by January. Yes, affirmative. Um, so what kind of uh, writing space are you in right now? Have you sort of like selected like a theme to work with or are you kind of just like writing a lot of different tracks and seeing what sticks for you? It's written, um, but I, I don't know, I'll, I kind of like dig out the theme afterwards because that goes with like the artwork and like this one's going to be more painting, a little bit more like sleep more, make more friends. It's going to do way more paintings and I'll kind of dig out the theme from there, but the tunes are all written, it just needs to be recorded. What's coming up next for you right now? So I know the new record is on the way for next year. You've got a lot of gigs coming up now for the rest of the summer. Uh, yeah, every weekend until I think maybe September and then we're going to do a short tour in York and then a short one in the UK crack on with next album and then hopefully then we'll be able to like just be like go out for two months of gigging a whole year actually yeah I don't want to go home basically no fair dues life on tour seems to be way more fun than life stood still yeah yeah book me <laughs> book him